We're in a neonatal unit, one of many that welcome the 300,000 or so premature babies that are born every year in Europe. The main risk for these vulnerable human beings is infection. It can be fatal. So how can we detect that quickly so that we can take the right decisions? Here in Rennes, researchers are developing a medical decision support tool powered by artificial intelligence. The following report was filmed before the coronavirus outbreak. Life is a miracle and sometimes fragile. Elia was born four months prematurely. She weighed only 500 grams. It's been a fight for life ever since. In the first moments, we were living hour by hour, minute by minute. Now it's a little bit day by day. We don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. Today she's fine. This afternoon, we don't know. Their immune systems are so fragile, 10 to 25% of premature babies get an infection. A team of scientists is developing this tool. It aims to detect the infections before any visible symptoms and then alert the doctors. The clinician's facing a double problem. On one hand, the clinical signs aren't very specific and they come in late. And on the other hand, if the babies are infected, they're at risk of fatality or susceptible to illness later in the future. For these reasons, antibiotics are often needed. Large doses of them aren't good for newborn babies or the immediate environment. The new system records the vital signs, heart rate, respiration, but also, thanks to cameras, images and sounds previously only observed with the eyes and ears of the medical staff. Sometimes there can be children who are more tired, who don't open their eyes like they used to before, who move less. This is what we are going to try to monitor to help the care of the children. 500 babies were compiled, a huge task. They were then synthesized using deep learning techniques. The aim was to identify common characteristics within this mass of data and to divide each situation into two categories, healthy babies and infected babies. You have here, for example, the cardiac variability curve of an unaffected baby and the variability of an infected baby. So you can already see by looking at these signals that they're very clear differences. And from there, we extracted what we call a network. And likewise, the organization of this network is totally different in the infected case and in the uninfected case. Thanks to research work funded by the European Union, scientists from several countries have developed an index visible to medical staff. Above a certain value, an alert's displayed. The clinician's going to get an alarm that's going to come maybe 12 or 24 or even 48 hours before the alarm he used to get. And so on one hand, he'll have time to evaluate, and so he may simply decide to extend his evaluation. Or he can decide the evidence that's provided by the index is compelling enough for him to decide right now to start antibiotics. This system is not intended to replace, but simply to complement the support and monitoring by doctors, nurses, but most importantly, parents. We have to be present as much as possible for her and for her development, so that she grows as quickly as possible and we can go home.